Jeg vil gerne byde jer velkommen til øh, dagens inspirationswebinar, som handler om øh, at revolutionere sin øh, salgstyring. Jeg har til det her webinar inviteret øh, Victor Ollen, <coughs> Olmind fra i-centrum, som er en af vores øh, SuperOffice øh, App Store partnere. Han vil fortælle jer meget mere omkring det her salesport af dem, øh, som er udviklet specielt til sælgere og til salgsledere, så man kan få bedre kontrol over sin øh, salgsmuligheder i superoffice serien. Selve salesport den findes allerede i vores App Store ude på vores hjemmeside. Jeg selv hedder Michael, og jeg har været ansat her i SuperOffice i to og et halvt år, og jeg er ansat som Key Account Manager. Jeg arbejder selv til daglig med salg og pipeline styring, og har glædet mig rigtig meget til at præsentere og vise jer det her virtuelt sammen med Victor i dag. Det er Victor her. Han er Head of Sales i e-centrum. Og vi gør det sådan, at da Victor han er svensk, så har vi valgt at gennemføre det her webinar på engelsk. Og det kan foregå på den måde, at jeg stiller nogle spørgsmål, og så vil Victor besvare dem. Og så vil I løbende blive præsenteret for de forskellige funktionaliteter i selve salesbordet. Jeg vil nu byde velkommen her til dig, Victor. Hello, Victor. Um, and welcome. Um, I've just told everybody that I will be asking questions and hopefully you will uh, be able to answer it. Uh, now I think we will switch to your screen, uh, Victor. Yep, perfect. And thank you so much for inviting me over for this, for this webinar. I'm very excited to be here with you today. So please confirm that you have my screen now. Um, Mm, I can. I cannot see your screen. Okay, let's see here. Uh, one second. Yeah. So share. Uh, there we go. Yes. Perfect. That's perfect. I can see your screen now. Uh, but before we start, Victor, I think could you. Uh, tell us a little bit about where did the idea of the sales board come from? Absolutely. So it's actually we were approached by SuperOffice. It was one of our original developers who has a long history developing when working with SuperOffice, who was actually approached by the head of sales in Sweden. Uh, he wanted a tool where he could graphically see his own pipe, uh, see the sales of his team in a more intuitive manner. Okay. But uh, so, so how is that different from uh, dashboards and uh, the traditional lists? So unlike dashboards, they only display information. Uh, he wanted a tool where you could also interact with it and to work with the information in a different way. So the goal, it was to, with as few clicks as possible, get access to as much relevant information as possible and then update this with ease. You know, we all recognize ourselves in the process today where To manually update a sale, we have to first find it, we have to select it, we have to click on it, we have to hit edit, update, and then save it again. So this takes a long time, and this is a process that we worked with SuperOffice to try to consistently improve and to streamline. This became then the sales board, which uh, looks like this. Okay. That looks very good, actually, uh, and much easier to understand what's going on. Uh, can you show us how this works uh, in real time? Of course. So for the sake and the purpose of this webinar, we're actually going to work with the tool in real time. It's a lot more effective, we think, than to, um, to, to show you pictures merely because we want to understand, we want to show you the true power of the tool. Okay. But uh, would you like to explain uh, us uh, what the sales board is from a super office perspective before we look at how it works? Of course. So what it is, It's a graphical interface that merely displays the information that you already have in SuperOffice. So we simply map the data in a different way and we allow the user to interact with it directly without having to jump between company and sales cards. Okay, so it's just a web panel. Does that mean that you affect any of the existing uh, company or sales card in SuperOffice? No, not at all. This is a plug and play out of the box solution. So we don't add any extra fields anywhere in SuperOffice. We don't modify any of the information that's already there. 
we just take what's there, we package it and show it in a way that's easier for the user to understand. Okay, that sounds, uh, that sounds very simple. Can you explain how you have done this and how you have categorized the information? Sure, so we, we categorize this based on two main pieces of information, the sales category and the sales phase. So each sales category gets its own pipe. So here we can see we have mapped it according to new customer, according to existing customer, according to, in this case, all calls from the data and services. Um, within these categories, we, then in, we map up each individual sale based on the phase that it's in, and we aggregate the value of each phase within that pipe, just to give you a snapshot of what does my sales pipeline look like at this particular moment in time. Okay, so these categories and phases, do you just mirror the current super office setup? Exactly. So if you were to install the sales board, we just follow the information that's already there. We don't add or take away anything. Okay, that makes it a lot easier to see how my pipe, <coughs> my sales pipe looks today. I see some of the sales are red. What does that mean? Yeah, so you can see here this one and this one and this one, for example, have a little red bar to the left of them. And that means we've actually gone past the sale date. So uh, the, the, once again, this the, the tool is relaying information back to you to make it easy to see what you need to take action upon at this particular moment in time. Okay, what, what else are you able to display for this interface that can help the sales process? Yeah, so we can actually show a lot from the sales board that SuperOffice doesn't traditionally show you. For mm -hmm. example, straight away, you can see here that we've given you information based on uh, how many days since the sale was created. This 84 here means that it was the sale was created 84 days ago, 243 days here, for example. If we go down one more level onto each individual sales card, we can then see here that we can actually tell you how many days the sale has spent in each individual category. Now, this can be incredibly useful uh, for helping you to also develop your sales process because it allows us to identify potential bottlenecks. Uh, for example, if uh, you spend too much time in quote, for example, then perhaps you know there's something about this stage in your sales process that maybe you need to improve. Uh, on top of that, this is also where we can save you a lot of the clicks that you would traditionally be working with. From here, we can e very easily update and change the date of the sale. We can add a description, for example, if we want to. Um, a description, oh, I can't spell, but uh, you, are, you get the point that we can update everything from here without actually having to really do much. Another thing that's very, very powerful with this tool is the fact that we have currency conversion. So you can actually see here that this, the, the sale is in euros and it's mapped out as 3000 euros. But when we look at the sale in here, it's actually going to be stored in the local super office currency. So this is also a very powerful tool for those of you that work with sales in different countries, because the sales board is going to tell you the, the value of your local currency, regardless of which currency the actual sale is in. Um, we can also from here very easily change the owner of the sale. If we want to do that, we can also manage them by copying, which is a new feature. And that will also even take quote lines with you if you have that on this particular sale. Right. I can see how many people like to work with that sales board. It's, it's very easy to understand and it gives also the user a lot of information back. So, but how do you create a sale from here and take it through my stages? Yeah. So if we want to work directly from here, we have the ability to do so because we can actually very quickly create new sales from here. So this is a new sale, for example. This is the same process as creating a traditional sales card in SuperOffice. It's just that we've given you a, a new interface where we can do all of this in a much easier fashion. So it'll be able to pull all the companies that you have stored in SuperOffice. All your contacts are here. Uh, you can easily then you know, set a value on it and the description if you want. This is a new sale, for example. Uh, we can very also quickly have this through a, a very dynamic date function selector. If you can also easily change the date here, and we've saved this. This is the exact same way as traditionally creating a sale in SuperOffice. Now we have this is a drag and drop feature. So as our sale process is evolving, we can then easily switch the stages that these sales exist in, and this updates. Uh, super office accordingly as well. So even though we haven't actually gone in and hit edit anywhere on this, 
this sale is now stored in this particular stage. Um, if we want to open and close, we then easily drag it into a sold or lost feature. And in this case, we'll say it's lost. Um, and this allows us to, from one web panel within SuperOffice, consistently work with an update to the sales and the information that's already there and saving us a lot of clicks doing so as well. Right. That seems easy enough. Do, do you have a feature to narrow down the search? If I want to see a sales in specific month or something like that, do you have that data? Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we have on the right hand side here a search feature, which is built on a dynamic date selector. So traditionally, or in, as a standard, the sales portal will always show you all the sales owned by this particular user, but that's not always important information. I mean, for me to take action on what I need to do this week, for example, it's important to quickly be able to map up that information set that is the sales that are for this week. So using this feature here, I can very quickly search SuperOffice to see, okay, which sales are expiring today? Ah, it's these two. Wait a minute, what about next week? I wanna know what I need to prepare for them. Okay, so I'm gonna map up these sales now and so on and so on, this quarter, for example. So we can very easily, depending on the parameters and the wishes of the user, also map the information that's that's relevant for right that second. Okay. Uh, I have heard you also build a separate tab to view historical sales. How does that work? Yeah, and this is actually very interesting because this came out of a customer request. Uh, we have a customer who we've been working with for quite some time that every at the end of every month, they sit with their team and they look at what did we close last week or last month contra what are we closing this month? And they wanted a feature to easily be able to see what has been sold, lost or stalled. And from here, it's a separate it's it's like creating a selection of closed sales. It's just that we've taken it into the sales tool to make it more accessible for you to use. So here you can very quickly see what's been sold and you can set a date span to see what's what's relevant. You can see what's been lost. You can also see what's been stalled. Uh, so this allows us to very quickly make comparisons. And once again, this is to help you and your sales process become more dynamic, but to put the information in one and the same place. Okay, I understand and see the value of this <clears throat> work with the with the as a salesperson's perspective. But what if I have a team and I want to gain an overview for more than my own sales? Yeah, and yeah. so this is where the sales board really shows its true power because uh, as, as a sales leader, you need to be able to quickly also gain a snapshot of what is actually my team doing at the moment? What is in the pipe for us based on a bunch of different values, not necessarily just your own, but for, you know, there's constellations of, of groups and people. So therefore, we've then created the management view. So what this is, it is gives us an ability to map up different information sets based on users and user groups. Now, let's say I have in my team, uh, a Thier, for example, is one of my team members, and then I have another one named Paolo. I want to see their sales at this point in time. So I can search for them very quickly. And now the sales board is going to show me all the sales that are owned by those two particular individuals. And from here, I can then also specify, narrow this down on date range of the stuff. And as a sales leader, if I were to look at this right now and see all of their sales are read, maybe I would have a little conversation with them as to why they're not moving their sales forward in the pipe, for example. Now, moving, taking this to a second, to a next level, uh, you know, it might seem a little bit like, wait a minute, it's going to take me a long time to constantly search for all these people. So we created a, a filter function where you can save these particular groupings to very quickly switch between them. So say I have Philip and Victor are two of my team members that I want to see their sales. I can search for that very, very quickly. And then I can switch to Ethereum Paolo, which are the two people that we just looked at before. That's their sales. If I want to look at sales as a group and consultancy as a group, I can instead select these ones and very quickly map this information. And then once again, I can narrow that down based on time as well. So it's a very powerful way for me as a sales leader to quickly gain an overview and understand what is my pipe looking like at this moment? What do I need to take action on? And this also allows me to actually update and close other people's sales as well. For example, if I want to work with this, I can easily go in and wait a minute, he's missed, this one is now lost. So I can edit other people's sales as well from here, but do it as a sales leader. Right. I really like the filter functionality, Victor. It's very powerful, I think. 
Um, I can understand why this uh, tool has been so, so popular uh, right right away. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's a very simple tool. You know, we, we've tried to create a situation where it's we, we want to have a tool that's it's dynamic and modern and easy to use. And, you know, this is I, I'm hoping I've shown you the true power of the sales board right now. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Uh, hmm. There isn't really that much more to show. In, if I, actually, it's it's really that simple of a tool. All right. Could you do some summary about it, maybe? Yeah, of course. Um, so yeah, now let's see. I'll just quickly. So yeah, all it is is it's a simpler and it's a more efficient way to work with the sales that's already in super office you know what we're trying to do is not to reinvent the wheel we're not trying to give you a new way of working with things we're just trying to display what you already have in a more intuitive manner that that's easy for people to actually get a, a visual oversight of what does my pipe actually look like today you know we our, our goal was to create a dynamic tool where you can very easily filter based on the information that makes it easier to make decisions in the now, both based on time and on users. You know, we wanted to give you an idea of what's happening with the sales as they live in super office, you know, how, what processes, what stages are they, are, are they getting caught up in and how long are they spending in each phase? And we also wanted to give companies that work with sales in different, in different markets an easier opportunity to understand the true value of their pipe in their local currency, as opposed to for every sale having to go in and recount how much is actually worth. I mean, if I sell in four different country currencies, but my local market is in Danish crowns, I want to know the value of my pipe in Danish crowns by just looking at the sales board. And that's why we have this currency conversion um, feature. Okay, thanks, thanks. But for those who are interested and would like to test this further, what kind of option do you have? Uh... Yeah, of course. So uh, as a standard, we always offer a two weeks free trial. You know, we think it's very important that people have the opportunity to to come in and to work with this tool uh, in their own environment without actually having to commit to anything. And this is where we also I will happily sit with you on a one on one session and go through the tool and how it's looking in your own environment just to make you feel comfortable that this is something that's going to be a value add for my organization as well. Um, in terms of pricing, if you were to move forward with this, uh, it's, a, it's a standard four euros or comes out to about 30 Danish crowns per user per month to have access uh, to, to the sales board. And if you want the management view, that's an additional license on top of that at the same price, basically. Um, we are going to be raising the price to five euros per month per user from the 1st of November, but as a thank you for those of you that are actually in this webinar today, we're going to reserve this, this previous price for you for the rest of the year. Just as a little thank you for the fact that you actually sat through this today and had to listen to this Swedish guy speak English to you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Victor. Is that, uh, is that all for your presentation now? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's that's if anybody wants to get in contact with me, this is my email address. So I'm very happy to speak with uh, with anyone and all of you as well. You know, it's a lot more effective to sit and have a, a, a private conversation regarding this is this is my environment. How does it look in my environment to work with my sales? Thanks. And now I. I